जय स्वामीनारायण चिल्ड्रेन हेलो एवरी वन सो ये डे वी डिड वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ विद आवर न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड वी डिस्कस इट्स डेफिनेशन एंड ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस द इम्पॉर्टेंस राइट इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड सो टूडे वी आर गोन डिस्कस इंसेंटिव फॉर एक्सपोर्ट ट्रेड सो वील सी वॉट इज इट इन डिटेल ओके okay incentive means uh, it is a kind of benefit so uh, you know in short if i if i could tell you incentive for export trade is uh, the benefit that is given to a particular person or an institute who is doing export Uh, who is exporting goods or services to other countries the benefits that are given uh, to them uh, that is what is incentive incentive for export trade so le- yes let's read out an incentive or benefit is something which a country or its government and who provides it the it's the uh, government of that country provides to an exporter so it is provided to an exporter to encourage his export goods or services is called incentive for export trade okay a country cannot do without importing items yes we are uh, every country is not self reliant in everything it has to you know import something or the other because uh, you, uh, we discussed last time that each country have in unequal distribution of natural resources so uh, they can uh, they have abundance of the resources that is available to them in their country so of course they will be lacking in some so for that it is necessary for them to import those things so every country has to do with importing items so when a country is importing what will happen its foreign exchange will be lost right uh, currency will be reduced why because we are spending money to import the goods so for that what what a country has to do it has to of course obviously do exporting right to earn the foreign currency so to balance it out the to balance the loss of the currency due to importing of the goods we need to export things and earn more foreign currency so for this it is needed to provide certain motivation or incentive to exporter to export their products so all such in its incentives that are provided um it is called export incentives or incentives for export so here these are uh, six methods uh, that is given in your textbook uh, which are fo- uh, followed by uh, government Uh, at various levels for providing uh, incentive for export so we'll discuss one by one in detail but i'll just read out the six the first is trade agreement second financial and economic encouragement or reward, uh, rewards collective and systematic economic encouragement fourth financial facilities and services fifth non financial facilities sixth is special economic zone they are also called as sez and sixth is ex- export processing zone that is epz okay so we'll discuss one by one first is trade agreements it is a state or central government enters into trade agreement with various countries and who enter if there is a question asked who enters on behalf of a country so basically it is done by the politicians so under these agreements they agree to trade uh would they agree to trade what products or services with each other and such trade agreement what it boosts the exporter to increase their export business second is financial and economic encouragement reward now exporters are give, provided uh, financial rewards also so we'll see what is it um, they are provided several financial benefits uh, they are uh, you know they can be given like some pre decided reward directly to the exporter uh, it can be done it is being done uh, suppose it is decided okay if you export this much this much reward will be given to you so it's directly provided to them then uh, it is also provided in kind kind means uh, to give exemption or collect very less sales tax and income tax on exported products so in this way uh, they learn more right and they will be encouraged to export more <laughs> then give partial or full exemption of income tax for income earned through export 
दे हैव गिवन कैश अरे सॉरी इनकम दे हैव टू पे लेस इनकम टैक्स और इवन समाइम नो इनकम टैक्स देन प्रोवाइड लैंड रॉ मटीरियल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इक्विपमेंट एक्सेट्रा एट चीपर रेट्स फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग गूड्स और सर्विसेज फॉर एक्सपोर्ट्स दे आर गिवन दीज फैसिलिटीज दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रोड्यूस गूड्स और सर्विसेज लाइक लैंड रॉ मटीरियल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इक्विपमेंट्स एक्सेट्रा ऑन अ सब्सिडाइज रेट फॉर यू नो फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस गूड्स नेक्स्ट इज थर्ड मेथड इज collective and systematic economic encouragement so under this system if an exporter is able to export a pre decided quantity of product then he is allowed to import products equivalent to the foreign exchange earned from the export so the exporter who guarantees to export the said quantity is given several benefits and they are what provide uh, like same provide land at spe- uh, subsidized rates for producing such items for pro exports now they are given assistance in setting up factories for producing products for export they are also given encouragement to establish factories in free trade zones now free trade zones are like trade zone areas which are exempted from tax and regulation they are in free trade zone uh, free trade zones are such part or such areas in our country where Uh, the law of the land is more liberal for the industries to be set up it's more a- liberal than the other rest of the parts of the our country so in that if if uh, it is done to attract the companies to come to settle there and to um, start their own manufacturing and exporting uh, units so it is done uh, uh, by keeping in view that objective in mind okay then fourth is financial facilities and services so several financial facilities and services are provided to exporters that encourage them now what are they to make arrangements so that exporter receive export bill now export bill is what it is a document needed by the customs department and it is so arranged that they get it on the same day of export so, uh, so what happens the it it reduces the uh, efforts on the part of the exporter and they are motivated to do more work so and then provide ways to protect exporters against fluctuation in foreign currency that is also a very huge um, uh, benefit or incentive that is provided to the exporter then making arrangements so that the importer or importing country can easily import goods exported to them <coughs> so that arrangement is also provided by the government then provide services as guarantor of the importer after assessing the financial soundness of the importer now all these facilities it is uh, comes under the export incentives then non financial facilities so exporters are also provided several non financial facilities and services for motivation they are like provide information on export opportunities procedures and benefits the, they are well informed they are trained then train people see train people for producing products that can be worth exporting then the competitions are arranged to and the you know highest uh, exporters are given uh, rewards then um, providing information about export market uh, they are given uh, information like who uh, Uh, like you know in in international market what are the potential buyers who are the potential buyers what products they need so all these informations if it is being provided by the government to the exporter then it will be very easy to easy for the exporter to work on right then to lock out or create strike in factories that produce export items illegally uh so that is also one uh so, so to close the factories that produce export items illegally then special economic zones <coughs> sorry a special economic zone that is scz uh, it refers to certain area of a country which enjoys special economic regulations and liberal economic laws compared to other parts of the country now it is um, it was you know you have to remember this date that it it came to uh, force it came into force on 10th february 2006 and the law was passed in the year 2005 
uh, and the types of SZ, SCZ are export processing zone, free trade zone, 